The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round and they're really loud. Hello and welcome. My name is Kaylee Joe, but you can call me CJ and I make content all about my experiences as a middle school and high school theater teacher. As a teacher, I know what it is like to pour so much time and energy and effort and occasionally also money into your classroom, whether that be your decor or something that the students actually use every day. Sometimes it feels like students don't even notice these efforts. In fact, it can actually feel like they don't appreciate them at all. But then there are other times where there are certain things that students really, really latch onto and show their admiration and appreciation for. Today, I am going to share five things around my classroom that my students have shown me time and time again that they love and appreciate. I hope that you get some inspiration for your own classroom, whether or not you teach theater. All right, so first up, we have got my playbill wall, and these are all playbills from shows that I have either been in or attended or directed, and they were just kind of collecting dust at home, so I decided to bring them to school and use them as decor in my classroom. I don't know what it is about this wall, but for some reason, my students really, really pay attention to it. And every time I add a new playbill, they immediately notice and want to talk to me all about the show. So this is a super fun way to like showcase theater in our community and start some really fun discussions. Likewise, I also ask students that if they attend any productions in our community to go ahead and bring me a playbill and I'll display it. So I also get to showcase some of my students' experiences as well. Okay. So if you have been teaching for any amount of time or even been in a classroom ever, then you know that the struggle for writing utensils is so very real. It doesn't matter what you do, what reminders you send home, what you put on the supply list, there will always be a student who doesn't have a pencil ever. So. My very simple solution to that, that I and my students appreciate, pencil caddies. So I provide enough pencils for every single member of the table, no matter what. These are super simple wooden number two pencils from Amazon Basics. At the beginning of the year, I got a box of a 150 of them for $10. I'll put the link to that exact item in the description down below. And I'm, it's May now, so like I'm at the end of the school year and I'm just now about to run out. So they really have lasted and it just makes things so much easier because I never have to worry about the, I don't have a pencil excuse because I provide them. And I got these caddies from Michaels, I think at the beginning of the school year. So super helpful for me, super helpful for my students, makes a, it's a small thing, but it really, really does make a difference. Okay, quick disclaimer about the caddies. I would like to warn you that for some reason, these caddies make students want to play basketball. As in this pencil is the ball and the caddy is the hoop and they love nothing more than to try to throw the pencils into the caddies and so, yes, I do spend a considerable amount of time every class period asking students not to throw pencils, but I teach middle school, so I guess I just kind of assume this is a part of the job regardless. All right, the next thing that my students really, really love and appreciate in my room is this giant charging station. I have chargers for both USB-C and iPhone, and I am a no phone zone, which means you can't have your phone out, but I do allow the students to charge their phones during class. This is great because at the end of the hour, their phone is fully charged, but it also means that they were not distracted by it during class. So it's a win-win for everybody. If you are interested in hearing more about my cell phone policy or where I got this awesome charging station, I made an entire video all about that, and I will link that up above. All right, and finally, we have my musical Monday bell ringers. So I start every single sixth and seventh grade class with a bell ringer question, usually related to something that we are doing in class that day. But on Mondays, I exclusively show clips 
from musicals and have a question related to it. And this is just a super fun way to share different titles with kids because you never know what's gonna pique their interest. So for example, last semester, I showed a clip from Hades Town, and then that next week had a kid come in like humming a song from the musical. And I was like, oh, you've been listening to Hades Town. And she was like, yeah, I kind of put the entire album on my Spotify and now I know every single word. <sighs> proud, proud teacher moment right there. I just wanted to show a couple of my uh, Musical Monday Bell Ringer examples. So here's one from The Little Mermaid Live. I always try to do live shows, by the way. I don't do um, any like movie adaptations. I really try to stick to live. Um, Hamilton, obviously like pr screen everything before you show it to the kids to make sure it's appropriate. They love Anne Juliet, by the way. I don't do a lot of jukebox musicals because they're like not personally my favorite, but I think Anne Juliet is just wonderful. Cats, Beetlejuice. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of Musical Monday options there and my kids absolutely love it. All right, so first of all, no, I did not do a costume change specifically for this video. Um, I definitely forgot one of the five things you might be thinking to yourself, there's only five. How did you forget one? Well, friends, it's May, I teach middle school, we call that teacher brain, okay? So I'm back to explain the fifth thing that my students absolutely love in my classroom, and that is my slides that always show what they need for the day. So here is a view of what my slides look like every day. I have this big smart TV, but you could do this if you have any kind of projection screen as well. And I always put what the date is, what our bell ringer question is, and what they need for the day. So this question right here, having this posted on the board saves me so much time because then the kids aren't running in and asking me, you know, 20 different times, what do we need for today? They just look at the board, they get their things out and they start on their bell ringer. It has been a really, really nice improvement to my classroom management routine. Every teacher, student, and classroom are completely unique. So at the end of the day, you do what works best for you. But I hope that you found some of these ideas helpful or inspirational in some way. If you enjoy theater and theater education related content, please like and subscribe for more. And as always, break a leg.